But we're going to make a casserole from Sardinia. And it's called a gratinata di carciofi alla Sardinia. Can you say that? No. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. <laughs> You're an honest man. Okay. How do we do it? Well, first of all, we're going to start. Right, why, don't you brush, do. why don't you brush right, that with a little bit of olive oil? We're going to start with some olive oil. So you brush a pie pan with a little olive oil, get it all the way around. And I told you, instead of having to clean artichokes, go out and get yourself a box, usually nine ounces, of frozen artichoke hearts. And you just defrost them. Don't cook them, just defrost them. Now we're going to line this pan. You want to help me? No, you can do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. OK, Wait, so we can. What about cracking some eggs? Well, OK, you can do that while I'm right, doing this. I like cracking eggs. All right, so I'm going to line this dish with these artichoke hearts, just defrosted, not cooked. We want to make cooking oil. easy for you. We don't want you to have to spend a lot of time in the kitchen, but we want it to be good. So there are our artichoke hearts. And then, Brandon, I'm just going to give that a little bit of salt. Okay. Not much, because we're going to have cheese in this later. And a little bit of pepper. You're going to crack the eggs. OK. OK. So now we have that. And this is, this is the beauty of Italian cooking, folks. It is very fast, it's simple, and it uses the freshest ingredients. So now we have tomatoes. And we're going to use plum tomatoes for this. Don't you make all your sauces out of plum tomatoes? Canned plum tomatoes. Canned, but when and everybody season, goes ill when you say that. Yeah. But I like using the San Marzano canned tomatoes because there's only a short season where you have right. fresh tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes, right. Fresh tomatoes, when, it, when it's not summertime, they can be a real problem. But for this dish, we want to use plum tomatoes. And, and a little trick, if you don't have really great tasting plum tomatoes, and they're kind of a little bit of out of, out of season, Worst I just add a little pinch of sugar on top of them. And that kind of just brings out the flavor. So I'm just lining the dish now with fresh tomato slices. There's the uh, tomato layer. So a little bit of salt goes on the tomato layer. All right, now you've got the eggs. And we want to add some parsley to that. So there's some flat leaf Italian parsley. Why don't you put that in? All right, so oh, we have tomatoes. We have cheese. We need cheese, is what I'm saying. And we need the right kind of cheese. So for this, we are using Pecorino cheese. And if we're in Sardinia, it's what? Pecorino Sardinia, right? We're going to put that in with our eggs. That's why I said don't use a lot of salt when you're salting the vegetables, because you're going to have it in the cheese. So you get that in, so that makes it really Sardinian. And then just to boost up this flavor even more, we're going to add some fresh lemon juice. I mean fresh, not, in a, not that stuff in a jar. I don't like that stuff because what, it's not fresh. Okay. What's that? Well, here's a Whatever. little tip. Go ahead, pour okay. that over. Here's a little tip. How do you get the most juice out of a lemon? You, you know, people roll go, it first, I thought, nope. right? No. Nope. No, nope, you don't do that. What do you do? What you do is you put a little dab like that, a little hole. And then you stick this in your microwave for 20 seconds. When you cut that lemon, you're going to get as much juice as you can possibly get. Did you put olive oil in there as well? Nope. Oh, see, you should have put a little olive oil in there. You so, didn't tell me. Well, you know, you got to read the recipe. So uh, now the olive oil goes in. <laughs> I don't like recipes. <laughs> and now this goes in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 25, 30 minutes. Because at that point, remember, five minutes before it's done, we put, the, we put the breadcrumbs on top. So there it is. Can I cut? You may. Cut. So we cut around it first? Go around it first. And let's see, we need a little pie wedger here. And I'll get a dish. This is something that would be a great luncheon type of offering, or you could have it as a light supper. And you can serve at room temperature, too, if you want. Serve at room temperature. You can wrap it up and take it to lunch instead of, instead of having to eat you know, a can of yogurt every day, which could get, get boring. So you could have something like this, which is good and healthy. There you go. It's okay. ready. I'm going to go get these All shrimp. All right, go get the shrimp. Let me get out a piece of this. Oh, beautiful. 
So I just put it on a plate like that, oh, and then good. take a little bit of, are you paying attention, Brandon? A little yes, bit of parsley to make it look nice, and maybe a little lemon wedge, a little lemon to dress that up. You could even just squirt the lemon on there if you wanted to. 